What is up, everybody? My name is Richard Terrell. I go by Kirby Kid, and you are watching Dio Live, a semi, not semi, kind of daily, almost daily, maybe weekly design show in which we talk about design. Um, I've been playing apparently one of my favorite games of all time, which is Splatoon 2, uh, particularly Salmon Run. I've done a lot of videos on Splatoon 2, but too bad. Because <laughs> every time I make one of these videos, I'm pointing out something new or interesting or whatever. So this is what we have uh, today. We're gonna go backwards in these clips. And um, <clears throat> I'm basically just gonna show you, hopefully you can hear me. Yeah. I'm just gonna show you what's happening in these clips and we'll just move on, it'll be a short video. Let's see. <laughs> It takes a long time to charge up, but it has incredible range and an incredibly long clip if you get a full charge. So right here, uh, one of the downsides is it has a hard time moving because it can't really turn its own feet very well. Right here, I use the explosion, fly through, start charging to kill a steel head. I'm like, wait, steel eel's heading the base. It's gonna kill my friends. So I'm about to shoot it, and then this jerk comes up behind me. So you heard the clink. That means I have a full clip, and I use the entire clip here. Start shooting at that hit, spin hit him, try to hit the guy on the top, kill an enemy in front of me, and still kill the tail of the eel that was crawling up over the top. And then I still had enough to get out of there, right? So if you look carefully, I think... So this area to the right, it's all green. There's, it's pretty much a solid green patch. So one of the subtle things I did with my clip, besides killing all three of these guys, is that uh, I flick it in a way which paints right here, the path with one drip. You can see the drip on the screen behind this uh, egg in the center. I really need to get my ability to draw on the screen again. Uh, but you know, that'll have to come later. But anyway, one drip falls right in front of me. I kill this guy, kill that guy, and then here's the drip. You see how it's not solid green anymore? And I use that and land it. So there's like a lot of things going on. There's so many ways to optimize your aiming. So many ways to like plan ahead and get the job done. It's crazy. I've never done shooting up from the uh, brakes like that with a long one. Fine. Next clip. Oh, that I'm dead here. Bleach. Get me back with a carefully tossed bomb rush. I'm like, cool. I knew it was coming in, so I turned around and try to get this guy, this steel head, before he launches. Couldn't get him. So I have a, of a, I have a weapon called a blob lobber, and it lobs blobs, as you can see, and these blobs bounce, but it's incredibly strong if you hit all the blob lobs. Uh, blah, 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 blobs. So, couldn't kill this guy, but I'm like, you know what, I gotta take care of these threats out here. This stinger to our right, and there's a fly fish. There's three bosses on the screen. If you, the big old fat guy in the middle, this skinny guy on the right side shooting a laser, and this other guy that's kind of clipping into him. Fly fish. You can see him here. Two Tupperwares, two Rubbermaid containers. Flying. So I kill the laser dude. Throw one bomb, because this is the only way you can hurt these guys. Fly fish. Go underneath it to juke this guy to face me because i didn't want him facing forward because maybe my friends are over there and they're gonna help me i shoot one blob lob up jump slightly onto this platform one lob from behind kill the steel head and then i was like i'm on a roll i'm gonna kill this steel head too lob kill him and then got enough time to throw the last bomb destroyed them all let's watch it Get a little bit in, get a little in. Kill him, get shots, kill that fish. Lob over the head, then kill him. Up the thing. Identify for us. Kill that. This will me move, throw, launch. Go. Checked all the eggs too, that's crazy. This is what I love about this game. So good. So good. Anyway, next. Oh, this is just a clip where I'm gonna fly to the shot. Fire. 
So yeah, here's the uh, Tupperware flying missile launcher dude. And one of the hard parts is you gotta, these enemies will face you because a lot of times they face you and then they attack you. But there's three other players. So oftentimes you're like, hey, face me. And then they do something like this. I'm gonna turn and face Fluffy. Cause I think Fluffy's interesting. You're like, no, this makes it incredibly hard. Not impossible. Just throw a bomb up over the top and landed in that basket. I wish I had a cool, I like, could have had a montage of like all the fly fish shots, but this is definitely one of the hardest ones. Cause notice it hits the front lip right there and then softly tumble straight down. If you overshoot it, that angle of the basket, you just miss. Right? It's like really hard to get that. So next one. So this is insane. This is insane! Drop to the floor. Come on, we need to rain, fish, cohort. Get smacked in midair! <laughs> Jump over here. Stop the scrapper, up the thingy, get out of the mob, underneath the still head, dodge the missile, hit it, dodge the wheel, and put my egg in. Insane. This is what I was talking about, Bleach. I don't even know if Bleach is still here. Oop. But this, so it starts at the top, lots of pressure in the base. You can see in the distance, the missile launcher dude, not good because they launch missiles at you from anywhere on the stage. There's a big fat steel head to the bottom right and a big steel head I'm fighting. I didn't blow him up in time. And there's a drizzler shooting this missile that's going to drop rain on all of us if we're not careful. So I'm like, priority, stop the rain. Shoot the missile, dodge the explosion to the right. And I was like, cool, I'll just put my egg in because we need three more to win the round. Oh, got to spin around because I heard his head. The steel head about to launch. Maybe we can kill him. No, one shot off. And by the because I was distracted like Raditz from Dragon Ball Z, I spin around I'm like, no, this eel is blocking it. No. And for some reason, like, he didn't kill me. He smacked me against the wall. I'm nearly dead. And then I see missile buttons on me. So I drop through the grates. These four little indicators. You can tell, Bleach, the indicators look like Coke bottles. They're Coke bottle indicators can't believe it anyway drop through the grate instead of getting crushed and then i'm like cool i'm safe wait the rain is still going because i didn't stop the rain and now there's a there's a mall i almost fell directly into the jaws but it only it has to give you the warning before it comes up so now i'm like cool i'll just go up this elevator shoot the side's not painted and i'm surrounded jump immediately cut my path back and then i don't have time i don't have time to kill all these guys and there's this mall still on me so i had to do the most bold thing i could think of Jump and nearly kill myself, unfold in midair, spin, and then use his momentum of his frying pan snack to get me into a safer area. Barely cut my weight. I was about to get crushed by this guy. One tap, I probably would have been dead. Spin, shoot him, one shot stops him, get on the elevator. Ma's angry still. Back up, shoot straight down when it's all green, distract that, still head, still ill, barely kill this guy in time, deposit the egg I always wanted to deposit. Man. That was insane. To watch the whole thing again. I wish I caught that. Let's get out! Man, so close. I was telling Blitz, like, I'm dead, don't worry, I'm not dead. That's how crazy that was. Let's do the next one. So this often happens. Steel eels block your access to your friends. So there's this guy, adri 4 and D. Can't really get to him. There's Bleach on the left side. And there's a curtain of ink that I can't really get to him. So I'm trying to kill this eel. And then a scrapper came up. I didn't even see the scrapper. Like, where's the scrapper? I did not see that. Crushed. Crushed. So now I know we're kind of in trouble. I'm like, Bleach, Bleach, help me. Flash down, throw a bomb. Good old Bleach. How did I get back? Your bomb got me back without directly exploding. Did you know that could happen? Hmm. And then I see like, two dead teammates. We almost wiped. And I'm like, shoot, I got to help them. Try to throw blob blobs. And then the eel came and blocked it. I'm like, that's it. Without even hesitating. My laser versus theirs. The laser guys shoot at the uh, player that's farthest away from them. So Bleach is already still behind me. I knew I, was, I wasn't going to die here. And you can see how the laser swept. I know, now know Bleach is on my right side. Cut the laser. And then, 
I almost got killed! Kill the heal, kill the stingers, get my friends back, call it a day. Let's see that whole thing again after I die. I'm dead. Come back. This mob almost gets me. Man, I'm close. And then another mob. So normally when you're in the stingray, you're a sitting duck, right? Uh, you have to fire the laser or swim. You don't have any other options. The laser's good, but if you get surprised like this, bleach through that bomb to kill it in one hit, because if you replace your body with the bomb, the moths eats the bomb. You can see the bomb there. Ate it, and then it explodes in one hit. Otherwise, it's very hard to stop. I barely got out of the jaws of the moths. As you can see, bleach took care of the second one, too. Man, we were on it, dude. beginning of the match lots of enemies were coming down this left file and when there's an eel they pretty much block everything you got to wait till they clear some space so I'm, I hop the little island and I do as much damage to this blocker as possible and here's the cool part you got to know your damage output your, your power output and you also know got to know which enemies to focus fire I focus fire the ones on the right I switch that one closest to me that had uh, low damage quickly pop that one I really want to find me a good place from the yellow. I knew exactly what I was hitting. Bleach, evasive action, shoot the laser. After Bleach confirmed the laser wasn't on him, this is the perfect time to use it. So normally the laser cuts through everything, dealing damage, which will eventually kill just about anything. But I went out here to help Bleach. I was like, I'm going to put more damage into it. Then I helped me cut a path in, and I was like, let's end this. That was fun. This, one, this is the ink rush. It's a weak weapon, but look how fast it can move. You can move this fast through enemy ink, through ally ink, through non ink. And it is one of the most versatile movement weapons in the game. Ah! <laughs> okay, so this is funny. Things get tight when it's high tide. When it's high tide, the water rises. You got much less room. To do anything you have much less room to breathe the enemies pop out of the water and they're immediately close look how close that is like pop out of the water this little stinger this tower is close this guy just popped out of the water they're right in your face so the, look how weak this weapon is weak 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 couldn't kill it hit these guys weak 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 couldn't kill it this weapon's weak but check out how fast i can redirect my momentum look at that that's fast. nothing can slow me down until I got out of reach. So this is a great weapon for distracting enemies. You get, you get their attention and then you move in a way to where this is I use my laser to try to hit the stinger in the back. Oh, I hit the stinger in the back, the steel head, and this eel all with the laser. I'm trying to do as much damage as possible. And I got my friend back. So look, now it's two alive. You can see in the top left, two X's and two alive, two are purple. So I knew I was in trouble, so I leaped. And then they punched me. So I was like, well, there's nothing I can do. It's the last second I throw a bomb. Throw, threw that bomb. I don't even know if see it. See, see the bomb uh, arrow indicator? I toss that thing right before I fall in the water. I think I get someone back. Maybe that, yeah, the end back. But that allowed us to win. So it's just like every decision counts, right? Even if you can't do a lot firepower-wise, see how I like... This, this steel eel is about to throw it forward into the base. Like right here, he's about to throw it at the base. And then I move sharply to get him to throw it you know, laterally. So it doesn't blow up all my friends. And then I move out and get everyone to turn around. And then the eel throws another bomb. And I get it not in the base. That allows all these people in the base not to blow up for a split second. They give us just enough breathing room for it to be this. So I got that guy back in the laser, then I throw the bomb. That was insane. We won that one. That was insane. 
So the more unique and sort of uh, specialized the weapons are, the more you have to identify your role and stick to it. Almost got the last shot. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. It's so fun figuring out when to pop this jet. I almost died again. So you can see the chaos unfolding. There's a scrapper to the right that we just stopped. Another scrapper here that's kind of stopped. The Drizzler to the left making things rain. Marcus is going off to the left to take care of this stinger. So I leave him. I'm like, you take care of it, Marcus. Steelhead's coming. This is bad. This thing's gonna make it rain, and rain is so deadly. You're just constantly taking damage if you stand in the rain. This thing's gonna shoot rain. That this missile is gonna shoot rain. These are rain missiles. They they burst and then they shoot up in the sky. So you got to Blew both of them away with my long range split. And, and then I tried to hit that drizzler, but it didn't work. This drizzler's gonna reposition, so I'm like, eff it. Like I know I can take care of this big threat in the back, this other big threat in the back, and I didn't even see the I Go forward. Shoot the first basket, miss the second, shoot. So close. If I didn't if I didn't waste that first shot, I would have had a four things. Kill whatever was trying to steal the eggs directly below us. No, you don't. See the drizzler that I couldn't kill. Shot him. See another missile. Don't want rain. Shot it out of mid air spin. Shoot that. Ah, still him. Wind it up, shot him. It almost got that final kill. That would have been so sweet. But here's here's the cool part. Deciding when to use this is great, but this, this jetpack flies at a height above where the floor is. It's not like a real jetpack where you just hover and you hover based on your propulsion strength. So right here, I go off the ledge and I drop a little bit. So I have to calibrate that with my shots. Aim slightly up. I was like, okay, I'm on the lower level. I'm going to lift up because I'm going to move to the right. Up the hill, that slight bump up the hill and down the hill. So yeah, you gotta make sure that all your shots land, and the terrain underneath you is just as important as the air above you. Okay, cool. That's the power the brush I was telling you about. Once you get that thing down and you're running with it, it's just like nothing can stop you. You can juke really well. You bump them enough times they die. You can run over enemies that are really dead. You gotta pick your moments and pick when to juke in and pick your way to the curve. I just love this weapon. It's weak. <laughs> Look how long range this thing has. Get that, get that, look how big this stuff is. Get it, have a little bit extra. Taking the right moment to use the spot down there. So yeah, you should put destroy him. It's ill and the scrapper. They can block you so easily. So I lure the ill away. Somebody stuns the scrapper and I'm like, perfect. If I get to the side of it, I blow him up. I didn't quite get to the side of it. This is why I love the ill. Like it's predictable movement, but it's dynamic. Right? The dynamic blocking power. You have to use it and, and or lose it, right? You guide it away to buy yourself time, aim at the tail, it can wrap around itself. It's just easy to Pop out of the ink, grab that bomb in my hand, hold the grenade button longer so I can see the tracer. 
it measured it without falling off. Good stuff. Just a cool example about delicating the and picking the time. You see what the cuts are while still maintaining the ball. Didn't get that rain missile. This is a example of the rain missile going up. Didn't get it in time. Shoots up into the sky. It's gone. Rain's about to come. You know it. See that big circle on the ground? That's rain. And it actually paints the ground. So it's really just terrible. If you, know, if you know it's radius, you know it's speed, you can play around it. Seeing the threats, seeing people dead, seeing what kind of enemies there are, when to get ink, how to pop up and hit the targets, all this is like aiming, 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 moving, aiming, moving, aiming. Stopping back, getting the guy back, getting egg after egg after egg. That little high pitched sound means you're hitting all of them. <laughs> so, this is what happens uh, when you walk the enemies around. I tried to make that jump, miss, so I tried to hit the ball and go up it. I see a steel wheel, I'm like, ooh, shoot. And then this guy, yeah, like, get away from me. And, like, ah, 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 and I accidentally fell through the grates because when you go into squid, you the grates, and I'm like, shoot, I can see their beady, ugly eyes, their hungry faces. So I know I can't go up, so I juke back, but I, I juked in a way that slowed them down. Into the wall, jumped over this green splotch, see the orange, I need to cut through it. Barely get away from the yield. The, the basic enemies in the game can pose a dynamic threat. So I painted this and then the scrapper immediately came out. I'm like, shoot, it's green now. Okay, back up. Kohawk, this guy takes a ton of damage. He's fat, so you can tell. And then, um, I'm off the screen. Dodge him. I'm like, cool, but then the small fries come up. So like, you know, if I want to kill this guy though, the small fries pose a problem. And then more enemies came from multiple places. I'm like, oh, no. Hey, Move, paint, move, throw a bomb backwards, see the deal, just pushed onto the line and got out of there. Yeah, basic enemies. They're dangerous. They don't, nothing, none of the basic enemies kill you in one hit. Sometimes it takes people up to the field. It's probably three from like the little guys, two from the fat guys, and maybe two from the new ones. So that should be it for this uh, session, just showing you some cool Splatoon stuff. Playing this game a lot, because I like it a lot. And I will see you guys next time.